Yo, it's Hefty Hall HQ Rollin' with the crew, movin' those big loads Yeah, you know how we do, we got the ribs The power of the mic, from dawn to dusk We own the night, oversized loads Ain't nothing but a thing, got the trailer stretched out Feel the metal sing Welcome back to Heavy Hall HQ We got Hoyt Ballard with us here today And we're gonna be going over two specialized trailers One of them is a Landolf 455 with a railroad option And the second one is a 60-ton Kalen West Coast Legal 2 plus 3 plus 2 setup so let's go take a look. All right, so we got Ryan over here. He's pulling up the Landoff 455B. Also stick around to the end of the video. I wanna show you a really cool product I just saw by Jost. It's a fifth wheel plate that can raise and lower. And I'll show you the ideas that I've got for how we can use it in our industry. <laughs> I gotta show you uh, Hoyt's jacket. This is Giltner Heavy Haul. Really cool company that specializes in obviously heavy haul. And Hoyt is going to tell you a little bit about the Landolf 455 with the railroad option. Good morning, folks. This is a brand new Landolf 455B, 55 ton rated trailer we have here. We are looking at a 53 foot overall length. We have a 43 foot deck length. We're sitting at 60 inch axle spacings. These are Dexter axles, 17.5 rubber, Meritor tire inflation. Obvious option on this trailer is your ability to haul railroad equipment. With this rail system here, you back up to the rail. These are mostly designed to haul railroad maintenance equipment that you might see grinding the rails, replacing ties, stuff like that. Uh, we're looking at a 37 inch deck height, ride height on this thing. When you lower it all the way, you're gonna be looking at about a six and a half degree load angle. Typical for most of all their, their 55 ton rated traveling axle trailers. But like I say, this you can move some small rail equipment. You're not really gonna get away with the big rail cars, but primarily you see these moving your railroad maintenance equipment is what it's really designed for on an industrial level or a, maybe a short line deal. Uh, it's got a 20K winch up top. Thank you so much Hoyt for going over a lot of the options. Let me tell you about a few of the rest of the specs on this trailer. It's got a fold down step in the front so you can easily access the upper deck. The roller in the front of the bulkhead here on the lower deck is for the winch option on the front. The winch is a 20K braided winch. You'll notice on the top where there's normally toolboxes, they have opted for side mount toolboxes. So they have the toolboxes mounted left and right side of the deck. We got flag holders on the front. On the control panel on the side of the neck, you have your panel light right here. You have your two-speed winch option, work lights, which will light up the work lights in the bulkhead. And then you can see down the side of the trailer, it's got, Landall's got one of the best options for lighting. The whole side of the deck is lit up beautifully. And then right here you have auxiliary lights and strobe lights. So you have strobe light right there in the tail. And as you can see, it's an all galvanized bumper and undercarriage. Those work lights are actually really bright. So this one has a full Apatong decking, obviously with the railroad option. This one is available in 48, 50, 53, 57 foot, and a California legal 50. Now let's go see how it operates. All right, so all this is done via remote control. The new remote control is brand hydraulics. You have your normal control panel here that you can operate all your hydraulic controls. And then Curtis here is gonna help us operate the bed from remote control. That way you can do it from the safety or while you're operating a piece of dead equipment up on there. You see the bed kind of raises up out of the pocket and then he's feathering it. The new system from Landall is the fastest around. Even with my little yard truck with kind of a low pressure, low flow on it, it operates this trailer easily and quickly. Then this will get you down to that six and a half degree load angle. And then also with it in the ride position, it has a 37 inch deck height. And this is a pretty amazing unit when you know that it's capable to carry 110,000 pounds. It's rated at 55 tons, the whole entire frame with 60 inch axle spacing. 
And then here's kind of a sh side shot of it. So you can see kind of how impressive this one is and get a feel for the underneath. There's the galvanized undercarriage. Some people call it a bogey. This is the front E-chain, your hydraulic lift cylinders, the rollers and airbags. It's a Dexter suspension. This little cutout right here is for dock leveler options. So this could have two sets of dock levelers, one here and one here. So it would go down between both axles that will allow your tail to raise up to dock height. All right, let's go back with it. Landau also has a option for pony motors. So the pony motor will go right up on the top of the upper deck right there. And they also have some really impressive options for headache racks. They can have them with a painted option. And then you can also add work lights, tail lights, strobe lights, the whole kit and caboodle. TM trailer just got recently got set up too with Wayland. So we have all types of strobe light accessories. Of course, you've seen on the channel many times all the projects we do with trucks accessories for dual revolution lighting. And if you're needing service or parts, we specialize in that. Now let's hop over and we'll take a look at the Kalen Cyber 232. The next trailer we're doing is a very big trailer. It's the biggest trailer. It's the best trailer. It's a beautiful trailer. It's the Kalen Cyber 2 plus 3 plus 2. This one is a California legal for all my communist friends. All right, so this is a 60 ton, 120,000 pound rated trailer. It's available in options from 26 to 28. This is a 2021 model, and this one is going for 230K, 230,000. It's got a two axle Jeep with a sliding fifth wheel, hydraulic neck with a 36 inch flip box. Some would say this is the best trailer. It's the Kalen Cybert. They've been in business a very long time. This trailer won't last long. It's got a 24 inch deck height. Again, 28 foot in the well, pony motor, full hydraulic neck. This one has swing out outriggers to get your deck open even wider on an already nine foot wide deck. Super wide. All your tie down points with uh, D-rings. This one is a modular deck. So you could technically swap this to a beam trailer or a drop side rail, 60 ton still rated. On the back, this is the walking beam design. Thank you so much to Hoyt today for being my cameraman since we don't have Jasmine. And I'm gonna run you over the top of this walking beam design. When you get to the job site, take the Jeep off, take the Stinger off, and then get back in and maneuver into tight places. But this is a really good trailer to see for the channel because I know we all are enthusiasts of actual heavy haul trailers and we don't always get to see a two plus three plus two setup because nobody ever wants to sell them because they're making a bunch of money with them. All right, and I promised you if you stuck around to the end, I would tell you about the new Jost fifth wheel that I saw yesterday. So I'm gonna have my editor throw the Jost fifth wheel scene up right here. But now that you've seen the Jost fifth wheel, I want to show you my idea. This is new to me. I just saw it last night, but I'm thinking there's an application. Also, this is the gray trailer that we were just doing these specialized lights on the back. And then when he hits the switch or the remote control, these lights will go from red to white so that you have red running lights. And then whenever you flip the switch or the remote control, it'll turn them to white light. So then you'll have a bit of a work light in the back. And huge shout out to Ivory. This is a project I'm working on for Ivory. So now what I'm thinking about for the Joss fifth wheel, let's say you get to a railroad track, you're out of hydraulic controls here. You could detach from it, because I'm not sure, y'all tell me in the comments if you think that it's strong enough to pick up the actual trailer with the load. I don't think it looks like it's made for that, but you could pull out from the trailer, lift your fifth wheel up, lift your hydraulics up on your neck, 
and now you have an additional <laughs> eight or 12 inches of, of ride height for the front. And then you know you already have the whittle valve and everything in the back. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like my fun idea about the new Joss fifth wheel. And we'll see you next time. It's Hefty Hall HQ, rolling with the crew, moving those big loads. Yeah, you know how we do. We got the ribs, the power of the mic, from dawn to dusk. We are